So we just had a new theme park game drop on May 5th, 2024, and that new theme park game is called Park Studio. And Cray Games designed this game. I have yet to open anything, and I really want to explore. I've seen a couple videos, but I really just want to get into it and see what this game is all about. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and select the new game here. So it gives us sandbox. I'm going to do that, and then we're also going to do small flat land here just for all the kicks and giggles. So now we're in the uh, main park file and the controls are basically the same. The planet coaster is just forward with WASD, forward, backwards, up, down. Q is down, E is up. It's pretty much the same and to move your camera, it's just the right mouse button. So yeah, pretty simple. So I think I'm gonna go right into the uh, building aspect here first. And the music is really cool. You know what also is really cool though? My channel. That's why you should subscribe. I post videos like this weekly and I'm sure you don't want to miss out on this kind of content. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It helps out me a lot, but it also gives you a notification every time I post a new video, a new cool video like this. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the video. So we have a lot of building options here and they look really good. I'm just gonna start off with a uh, brick wall undo you can undo with this button okay I got everything better now the settings are a little bit better so it's easier to move um, there we go you can select it D control D maybe oh wow that's cool I really wish planet coaster had that you can also edit every single number here so like if I type in negative 90 boom it's gonna lock it to that grid there so holding control will multi-select. So if I want to select a bunch here, you can with control. And then I want I can group these. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. And then control D. Will that? Hey, let's go. So that works. You can uh, duplicate items. Let's go. Move it over. I'm really excited to see shadows and stuff and how the buildings work in this game. So let's actually go into more building. Roof, let's go roof piece. Let's see what, what it has. There's, right off the bat, there's so many options. Also, there are no fighting textures. So that's gonna be cool. Fighting textures in some games are really, really annoying. We're gonna group these items here and make a, a roof with control D and then rotate them. Okay, so there's a bug there when you rotate. Look at that though. They all rotate individually pivoting around themselves. So what I have to do is I have to literally rotate this to 180 and then move it. And select them, group, select this, group. Alrighty, you can change your interface color to anything. That's nice. Let's do my channel colors, because why not? Oh, well, that's selection color, but like interface color. Nice. So we can change it to anything. View system time menu. So I just affected the weather, and it takes a minute for the weather to kick in, but honestly, this is really cool. Um, so if I were to then make it sunny, it might take a while for it to kick in. But it's honestly really cool, and it all works really well. So with a fully complete building, or <laughs> as complete as I've made it, um, with lower graphics, it doesn't do very well with shadows and stuff. So what you have to do, you have to go into settings, and you have to... Right now, I have everything turned down. But if I turn everything up to, like, the highest quality, you're going to see that with the Epic, it changes color. So, so right now, we're on medium quality. So, But if I go to Epic it turns completely black in here. So if you do have a really good PC, which I kind of do, but it's not anything crazy, it will turn these things black. See how that's cool black and then nice. So it does everything really nicely and my game, my PC can run this quality fine and look at these graphic details. It looks insane. So yeah, but look at all the pieces that this game comes with. It's crazy how many there are um, just for not even like a full release yet. It's just kind of a test of the game and that's crazy how many pieces there are there we go 
Add some lights in here. Oh, goodness. So control like dims the lights here. If you press control, you can dim the lights. I don't know how to rotate them. I thought it might be Z, but we can fairly easy, easily light up a building. I mean, you can see how good all the graphics and stuff look. It looks really cool. Obviously, I'm not any good at this game yet, but man, you can do some really cool things. And it's really nice that you can, I noticed this earlier, if the time is, let's say, sunny outside, you can actually put lights outside and it will light up things. In Planet Coaster or other games, this is not how lights work. You can't see light if it's daylight outside. You have to do it in a dark building. This game, it's not like that. So there's a lot of flexibility when it comes to everything. And I'm pretty sure all these lights can be multicolored. Oh, the light, you can see there. Oh yes, that is beautiful. Looky there. We go in here, we can light up a room. So that's basically a building, but there's a bunch of other stuff, just like props, like computers or AC units, boxes. There is infinite, not infinite, but there is so many items to choose from and they look absolutely breathtaking. So with the building out of the way, let's actually move to the path system now, um, which right when you select path is what you're coming up with. So it wants you to place one down, nice. Oh, this is cool. So now we can edit the path like this once you've selected it. So the path is node based, which is really cool. All right, so, and we probably wanna add a node here. Yes, okay. Can edit this by adding a node. You can even change the tint of this. Also, one thing that's super easy to do is rotate it up. This was really hard to do in Planet Coaster, and I think this is going to give you so many more options. There is a little things here and there that could be fixed, like it's kind of hard to select things and then select it again. Um, I actually don't know what that does, but it looks cool. You can change the tint of everything to whatever you want. That's cool. We won't have to create as many custom paths. Um, tangent size. That just messes with the size of the arc. Like this. Create custom elevation. Doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of issues with that. So that's cool, because that's something Planet Coaster does not do. You can lower it again. Add node, add node, add node. We can do this. I don't know what this does. Oh, that widens it, so that's cool. Change the whole path like this. Tangent size. See how there's so much there's so much customization with this path and it's awesome. One thing that I will note is if you click anywhere, it closes everything, which is kind of annoying because like if you're accidentally trying to mess with this and you miss and you're like, oh, but dang, and you miss, well, then you have to restart, reselect it and press twice just to open it back up. So if there was like an X button on one of these, that would be easier because then you want to accidentally close something. But other than that, the path system is really cool and could easily be used. Next up is landscaping, so we're going to just mess with the uh, sculpting here. Oh, goodness. That is fast. That just kind of smooths things out when you mess with fall off. We can flatten things. That's cool. You can also change the strength of it so it happens more quickly. And you can smooth things. So with the sculpt button, if you hold down, you can just build up, but if you press shift, you can build down, which is cool. Change the strength, the fallout. Let's see the true test. Can you build through path? You can. That is the cool part. Because in Planet Coaster, that's really annoying. So we can like smooth it or flatten it to the width of the path and it can be perfectly 
on top of it. Also, I've noticed if you're messing with terrain. Oh gosh. Control does not work. Control Z does not work to uh, disable terrain. So, and neither does the uh, back button. Also, I just pressed F, and F enables you into walking mode. One thing I will note is you can't zoom in and out to get closer to things or farther. I'm um, using the scroll wheel. You have to manually use W and S to move. Um, it would be really nice if you could use the scroll wheel. It will just allow allow for more movability. And I really like pressing down the scroll wheel to be able to move. I, I I've just gotten used to it. Um, and if it's not changed, that's fine. It's just it's a lot easier to scroll and then move and stuff like that with using the scroll wheel. So. Yeah. So another thing that you can do is you can change the radius of this big thing, which by, by doing that you just scroll up and down to increase size or decrease the size. So if I want to get rid of all this, I can just easily go to flatten, select here, and boom. It is so fast. That's so cool. So quick. That's awesome. All right. Next thing is painting, which I believe is just the same. You can just go here, mess with everything. Yeah, that's cool. Mess with some dirt. It's all very fast. Mix things. Add some rock. Ooh. I might have broken the game. <laughs> uh, maybe don't use rock because it breaks things. But so there is some, still some glitches in the game, huh? All right, and now for the final thing, we can check out the really cool thing, which is the coaster builder. Now there are some other tabs down here that in the future will probably be able to be accessible but right now the only coasters that we can see are a LSM launch coaster an LSM launch mega coaster a chain lift mega coaster and chain lift hyper coaster we're gonna choose the LSM launch coaster because I want to play with this also I just noticed the scroll wheel works for all these two which you can move just using that now it's a lot and you can hold down shift to move it even faster and control to move it even slower so that's cool same goes with all these right to left and even up and down too. So that's cool. It gives you a lot of customization there. So for track color, let's just go with a, uh, a grayish, blackish color. So what we're gonna do is add a node. This is gonna be a, a drive tire node, target speed. I'm guessing this is miles an hour, which that is a crazy high miles an hour. Which, if that's true, we might be able to do a drive tire launch. So let's do like a uh, solid like 45 miles an hour with a, a power of that. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. You can transvert, traverse it. So it doesn't have to necessarily be a brake. Again, that is annoying because if you accidentally click off, it completely closes everything and you have to click on it again. So an X button would also would be really helpful. helpful. This is a block section. I wish there was a uh, button to be able to edit those, but we're gonna do that. Move this track up so we get a little airtime hill here. Let's rotate it here. There is zip heart lining, which means uh, there is no heart lining. Um, so, there we go, add train. So this train should roll through and get launched. We're gonna set the target speed for a solid 70 miles an hour. We're gonna test this thing again. Let's test it and yeet. Let's go. We're gonna add a node. Pretty high acceleration here. Okay, now we're gonna Cap this off at the top. Kind of like a top hat ish thing. Of course, I clicked off so it messes with things that are stupid. There it goes up and over. We're going to bring this down. And what's cool is while we're doing this, we can edit 
as we go on, which is a really cool feature. Pull it down to get this long drawn out element here. I'm actually gonna move this one up because this is the one that needs to be moved up. And this one's gonna go even higher. This airtime on top is gonna be really cool. And yeah, it may look weird right now, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here, push this out, slow it down, push more out here. Ooh, dang, that tangent is crazy looking. Okay, and you can just whoop, mess with the tangent. That is so easy. Wow. It's a little big. You can mess with the tangent of the whole element. That's cool. There we go. Hopefully that works a little bit. There we go. Let's get it. Woo! Yeah, see, the banging system is super janky. I wish that needs to be fixed. We can, again, exit with E. Oh, look at that plaza. Anyways, that's pretty much it for what's in the game right now. Um, there's a lot of features that can be added to make this gameplay even better. Um, the coaster editor is really, really hard to use, um, and I really hope that um, gets better. Um, but other than that, like everything looks really good. It's visually appealing, and it looks really good, especially like buildings. I love all the building sets and everything. Like, I mean, we just have like zebra marble floor here. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Um, again, there's still some glitches in the game, but. There is a lot of potential for this game, and I'm really, really excited to see what happens with it. Um, will this be basically the next Planet Coaster 2, or is it going to be more closer to a No Limits type game? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments, and I appreciate you watching, and I will see you in the next video. As always, keep on coastering.